Hello, everyone. Hello. 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 Is there anybody that loves college football, college um, basketball? Yes. Anybody? <laughs> All right. Well, my name is Ivan Reeves, and I'm going to try to persuade you guys to see why college football and college basketball players should be played, should be paid. As most of you know, most of you guys are sports fans, and some of you guys have probably actually played sports. In, you know, basketball, maybe in high school, college, or so forth. And I compiled a lot of evidence to persuade you guys, and I think it will be interesting to all you guys. Based on my high degree of the instance of why college athletes should be paid, I persuade you to see the, the reason why they should be paid. I will present this information to you to the best of my knowledge. My main point, number one, on January 28, 2014, King Coulter, the starting quarterback at Northwestern University and some of his teammates petitioned the National Labor Relations Board to form a union. According to an article by Mark Edelman entitled, 21 Reasons Why Student Employees, Student Athletes and Employees Should Be Employees and Should Be Allowed to Unionize, is that the typical Division I college football player devotes 43.3 hours per week to a sport, which is 3.3 more hours than a typical American work week. Edelman also stated that, meanwhile, the annual NCAA men's basketball tournament affects more than six days of classes, which is truly March Madness. And also, although the NCAA claims college athletes are just students, the NCAA owns tournament schedule require college athletes to miss classes for nationally televised games. Although the reasons mentioned above is enough for students to be a part of a union, there are a lot more reasons to justify, and I will go through and explain more. Main point two, in 2015, the University of Alabama made almost $100 million in revenue generated from just their football program. The University of Louisville basketball program made $24 million in profit, and about 40, about 40 million during the 2013-2014 season. <laughs> In the book entitled, Should College Athletes Be Paid, written by Josh Griffin, he says there's a, there's a collection of reasons why he believes college athletes should be paid. The first one is says college athletes should be allowed to have their own endorsement deal, since they're the ones helping generate the money to the program. Number two, college athletes should be paid as schools neglect their academic interests. So as I mentioned before, they, they skip classes and things like that, but they don't get, you know, compensated for that. They think it's all covered under their scholarship. Number three, paying college athletes make economic sense. You have coaches that make upwards of seven to eight million dollars a year, bringing in all this money and the, and the players get nothing. Next, college athletes should receive a scholarship raise to cover necessities. Cost of schooling goes up but then the, the, the stipend they get remains the same. Next, college athletes should be allowed to unionize. I mean, it, it, the problem is they don't think, the NCAA doesn't think they can unionize it because they think it's a problem with how much money the athletes should be paid. But also, Job Griffin said that if you pay everybody the same, whether you're a starter or not, it'll be feasible. Point three. In his book by Andrew Zimbalis, Unpaid Professionals, he states commercialism, he said the problem that exists in college is due in large part to the commercialization of what was once an educational activity has now resorted and shifted to, from college athletic to an educational, ah, excuse me, it shifted from education to a commercialized business. The NCAA brings in upwards of $100 million during NCAA basketball during the tournament. He also noted that um, NCAA is otherwise known as the nonprofit NCAA. It notes that it is engaged in a lucrative television contract selling the rights to exclusively air Division I basketball tournaments to the tune of $6 billion over 11 years with CBS. They have so many corporate sponsors and bring in so much money from that that it should be no reason why they should be able to pay their college athletes. In conclusion, I've informed you about the most important 
topic and my stance on this on this topic, and I hope I was able to persuade you into looking into the NCAA to get these athletes paid for. Uh, yeah.